So glad you could join us again. I am with Greg Angert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group of Food and Wine Sommelier of the Year. The group includes what I like to call the mothership, Church Key, downstairs is Birch and Barley, and then where the NRG started over in the Del Rey neighborhood of Alexandria, Evening Star Cafe, which got a very nice write-up yes. from Washington Post food crit critic Tom Seitzma uh, a week or two ago. Awesome. And next door to that is uh, Planet Wine, a bottle shop. Check That's that right. out. Greg, it is always good to you see too, you. my friend. What is on tap this week? This is a very special beer from uh, Vitamin C Brewing Company up ah. in Weymouth, Massachusetts. Massachusetts excuse me. Um, a delicious 6.8% hazy IPA brewed with citra and mosaic hops. And it is uh, appropriately called Greetings from Weymouth. <laughs> I like it. Mm. Inviting. Oh, that's nice. So, uh, vitamin C is one of my, definitely one of my favorite new breweries that's out there. I think that they are just making uh, incredible hazy IPAs, double IPAs. They're also making some really great stouts, some fruited sours. Um, Dino Finari is a good buddy who, who got this project off the ground. He's been home brewing and making wine at home, actually, first and foremost, since 19, early 90s, 91 or something. Um, and then more recently, got really into home brewing, about, I guess, six, six years ago or so. Uh, and he and his buddies would gather. They live in, uh, he lives in Hull in, in Massachusetts, right near Weymouth, which is south of Boston, north of Plymouth. And they just brew on this little system, day in and day out, honing their craft, looking to breweries like Trillium and Treehouse for a lot of inspiration. Uh, for the hazy game and uh, I've crafted a lot of cool stuff. So I've known about vitamin C for a number of years now because they've been trying to open their own small brewery and we're brewing on their small little system and canning some of their beer, not for sale, but like they would trade their beer. They definitely got it out there into the, you know, uh, okay. into the mainstream. So people were kind of like aware of vitamin C, going to events, doing festivals, doing events. Um, getting the name out there, so heavily anticipated, and they just opened officially in February of this year. Really nice, creamy mouthfeel. Yes, I mean it, that's tons what, of it, flaked it, oats, it, yeah. lots ah, of silk on the okay. palate. Yeah, bitterness is very, very restrained, pillowy, um, pillowy beer. And you said it's not too, not too uh, punishing. ABV no, six point eight percent. Yeah, yep. perfect. And uh, yeah. just, I mean. A really well-made beer. There's a lot of hazy IPA out there these days. Um, it's the thing, right? Some of it's kind good. Of, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some, some of, of it's good. good. Some of it's good. Some of it's not good. And then some of it's exceptional. And I think that this is uh, is exceptional um, uh, as far as all these these styles go. And they're a tiny brewery, so we, we're actually lucky enough to have just hosted uh, an event with Dino and Vitamin C here at Church Key. They sent down a decent amount of beer, so you can find some of their beer at Church Key. They're coming down for Snallygaster, so you'll be able to check them out uh, then. And I'm hopeful that he'll, you know, as they grow a little bit, they'll send us some more beer. But right now, they're so small that they're only open one day a week, which is Fridays, I'm sorry, excuse me, Saturdays from noon until 8 p.m. You can go get cans, drink beer on tap. Uh, they have food trucks and stuff in, uh, in an industrial park in Weymouth. Uh, otherwise, you won't find the beer. I'm thinking a rather broad array Spectrum, of possibilities yeah. Yeah. with Hazy IPAs have, have just yeah. really have become like the one of the best beers you can pair with just about anything, right? Um, uh, light, refreshing summer fare, you know, fruit-driven uh, salads over like a bed of spinach, um, lighter cheeses like chevre or feta, I think work really well here. Chicken salad's great with these kinds of beers. I get a lot of mixed berry fruit um, and floral notes from this, um, which are great from the mosaic. A little lemon quality from Citra. Um, salmon, but also, you know, if you're up there, you think like cod and haddock, flounder. Broiled haddock is a classic dish of the South Shore. I think this would be amazing with that. Salsa guacamole for snacking. It's a pretty broad beer. Uh, very nice. Greg, thank you as always. Thank you. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.